Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for sodium sulfate plus potassium carbonate. And the first thing we need to do for net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Now we can write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. Compounds with the sodium ion are very soluble, and compounds with the potassium ion are very soluble. So everything here is soluble. That's why we wrote aqueous. Everything is dissolved into its ions. And the ions that we start with, that they're dissolved in the water, they're still dissolved in the water when we're done. There's no precipitate, so there's no reaction. It's helpful to split the strong electrolytes into their ions to see the complete ionic equation. So the top, these are the reactants, the bottom are the products. You'll note that it's the same. The top and the bottom, it's all the same ions, no reaction. And if we crossed out spectator ions and the reactants, two sodium ions, two sodium ions, the products. Sulfate, sulfate, two potassium ions, again in the products, and then carbonate ion and a carbonate ion, everything's crossed out. It's all spectator ions. So there's no reaction between Na2SO4 plus K2CO3. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for sodium sulfate and potassium carbonate, except everything's aqueous, so there's no reaction. Thanks for watching.